Well, hello, YouTubers. Hey, I just got in an order for 10 of these sticks. They want them simple with nothing fancy at all. I said, well, I can handle that. But they want a di directometer on top of it. I'll just take you from start to finish on the first one. How's that? Let's get started and see what it's going to look like. Okay, here we are on our sanding bench here. I have my positive pressure, dust mask, hood, whatever you want to call it. I have two sanders here laid out on the table. This one was with, uh, with uh, 150, the other one with 220 grit. Now I'm all set up. I put my hood on and start sanding. What I do, I'll show you the stick real quick. What I do now with the 150 is just turn it as I go and put the orbital sander down until I get all of the uh, brown looking underbark. I call it it's between the bark and the actual wood itself where the core of the wood starts. And when I get that uh, brown down, that also gets the corners off. And uh, as I get down to that point, then I can quit and I pick up the other sander, go to 220, and at that time it's ready for finish. So let's get started with that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, now take a look at this phase of the really simple walking stick with a useful embellishment. That is a compass right on the end. And I want to show you, you look at the top of it and you cut a tiny bit to get it as level as possible. And I'm looking down at the top of it. And I want to dip my camera down a little right there. And you can see I'm six foot tall. A shorter person can look right down on top of that and see this compass. My idea is to have a small crack right there. So I'm going to fill that with um, some sort of resin anyway. So what we'll do is just freehand, I'm going to put a line like this. And I'm going to go down a little bit and then down. and up, back across. This is gonna be a lightning bolt. That's the idea. And I'm gonna go again. And down here and then about a third more, uh, maybe right there. We'll go right down again. And another lightning bolt there. And we might, might make a, a little piece of lightning come out of that. And we could do the same thing over here and down. back up there so we got a little bit of lightning going on there and that is going to be the compass is going to look like it's supported on some bolts of lightning that comes down around it that's the look i'm looking for so i, want to, I have a grinder in my in my uh, dremel a cuts all grinder that's the bit that's cone shaped for this that gets me down into these points that i want so let's get started with that. I'm going to get my helmet on. And we'll see what, see what that's going to look like. So I'm going to take my fine electric carver now. And I'm going to get the points a little better. In each one of these. 
and they'll just put the grinder in there and let it just pull out. This kind of cleans things, the things up a little bit. Sandpaper would do the same thing. Okay, that's it. Take a little bit of sandpaper now that I have right here. And that's going to get a little bit of fuzzies around off of it. And that's it. Now, once we get the uh, epoxy black, uh, black CA glue in there, that's going to hold what little crack we've seen there. That's going to cement that together. And uh, I'm going to rough the surface up here now a little bit. I forgot that, but we're going to rough that out with your uh, Dremel just a little. Won't take much, but go in there like so. And just kind of give, give that glue, give it a little more something to hold on to. And uh, that'll be it. Just like that. Now all we're going to do is wipe some oak finish on this. Have my rubber gloves on. We'll wipe this down real heavy with oak. And we'll let it dry for a little while. And then we'll come back and, and apply the, any other finish on it that we might want. Yeah, that's going to be nice. And it has just the right amount of character to it that I think everyone's going to like. In a couple hours, we leave it here, and we're then able to come back and put a urethane finish on it. I'm just going to lay that stick under that so it gets some air under it a little bit. And uh, we'll wait on that to dry. And we'll be right back. And before we put our end on here, we want to add a little something that that kind of contrasts with that. I want to put a little bit of that where I just now carved, and it don't matter if it comes out on the outside of it a little bit, that's just fine, like that. And then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this spray accelerator, and that will keep it from running. As we turn it over, it's not gonna run out. I'm just gonna to go to the next little mark I put on it, and I'm gonna fill that one up. But if you want black, this does the trick. But I sprayed that again, and now I'll go down to the next one. And it can get on the outside of this stick because we're gonna polish that out, and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, see that's dried enough that it won't run. So I'll turn it all the way around, and I'm gonna put some more in there, that's dry. So I'm gonna, it, I wanna build that up now. Don't stand directly over it because the fumes off of this it puts out a cyanide gas and you don't want to breathe that. Well ventilated area. I have a fan running in my shop here. Now I don't want to spray that. The second or the top coats, you just want to let it set for a few seconds and then it won't run anymore. So that, that looks pretty good right there, and I don't think that'll run now. It won't run out already. Now, you can see we can turn it completely over. It's not running out of the crack. I have one more. We'll be completely around, and I want to play some more in there. I have a link below for this CA glue. Get it off Amazon. It's a pretty good, uh, works real good for me. You can get it clear or black. I'm going to leave this for about... Oh, 10, 15 minutes. That way it's good and solid. That's dried. I'm going to take the 150 grit orbital sander I have, and I'm going to go around this again, moving it around, and I'll turn it around this way, and I'll roll it then, hold a stick there, and I'll polish this up again. Now that don't take much, as you can see. That is real good that is real good now i think that that just about got it right there and uh now we'll put some more stain over that see how dark that looks 
had a little bit on that rag and uh, that that just looks awesome. And you see, while you wasn't watching, I did slip over there and drill a hole for the wrist strap. And I make that um, 3 16 So the paracord will go right through that real easy and with a tie knot in it. Water-based polycrylic, and it's uh, clear gloss. And that's what we're going to put on there. And my technique at this is maybe a little different. I don't know. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay a block under this while I'm doing it. And I have a little screw I put in the other ends. I can hang it up in my drying room. And you won't be able to see that. But when I get back to my drying room, I'll give it one last pass with these rubber gloves. And I'll go right down the stick like that. And that'll get rid of and eliminate any possible runs that I have. Because what I'm going to do now is rub this on or wipe this on with a paintbrush pretty liberally and uh, get it good and wet and uh, and I'm also going to rub it a little bit with my with my uh, rubber gloves with my vinyl gloves here so and I want to make sure that it's it is plenty wet then I can immediately take and just make sure it's wet all the way around with these rubber gloves on. You've heard of wipe on poly. Well, it's all kind of wipe on if you ask me. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna take it to the back room and gonna hang it up and let it dry for a few hours. It's getting late this evening, so it may, it may end up hanging overnight, but it only takes about four hours and it will be completely dry and ready for the compass to go on the end. Uh, let me go hang the stick up. We have the stick all dried and finished. And we have our embellishment-like look around the edge there with our uh, epoxy coming down over the edge. And I have the compass that we're going to mount right on that end. So what I want to do, you see I have that roughed up right there. This is plastic, so it's going to grip real well to the epoxy. Now I have my two-part JB Weld epoxy here. Link below for that if you, if you uh, need some. And I've mixed it up two parts real well here that I'm going to put on the end of the stick right down in that groove there that we roughed up. This epoxy it is going to make it to where it'll dry and become one with the stick, actually. This is five-minute epoxy, so naturally leave it at least five minutes. I'm going to leave it 15 minutes. All right, so we'll be back in 15 minutes, and we'll take another look. See what that looks like. I've got that fitting pretty good. We don't even need to put anything else around. If you have a little uh, offset here or whatever, you can put some uh, some of your CA glue black around that, but we don't need it. To finish this up, I have a hole. What's that hole for? This is done in black, so a black wrist strap would be appropriate. So let's do this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to draw off about three foot of a black paracord. And I'm going to cut that, try to get a good clean cut right there so I can get it through this hole. What we can do is heat that and then real quickly bring your finger across it like that. Now it has to be real quick because that nylon gets hot. That keeps it from fraying a little bit and then hopefully we can get it started in the hole. And once you get it started you can just twist it and stick it right on through there. 
once you get a little black picking through there, you can grab a hold of it and there it is. Now we want to bring this up even. The first thing I do when I get it, get it to that point is to get up here and I'm going to cut it off one more time. Now what we'll do is heat it now so it don't it don't come unraveled on you again. We let that set up and get good and solid and we don't even have to have to touch it. Get the evens the ends even and uh, just tie a overhand knot just like you were tying a shoe. Get that on one side turn it over and it's just like you're tying a shoe on the other side now we'll tie a square knot okay now you have a square knot you've tied to like tying a shoe there and back the same on the other to start your square knot and you pull that tight now that is not going up and down a stick it's not going anywhere and there, there you have it. I put a little thin drop of uh, CA glue right in that square knot to ensure that it don't, uh, it don't come loose. Now I'll just go up here, tie a slip knot somewhere. Let me get the camera down real close so you can see this knot. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Come back up where you got enough room to get your get a wrist in there and get a hold of the long end. And now we're gonna go over one, two, and three. And you want to go over now and stick this one back through the first loop over that you did and through the second, that's two, and then through the third one. You get a hold of that and pull that up. That will tighten up on there and it'll give you like three loops on there. That's like that. Gives you a pretty good looking knot there. Now that, comes down to your where you've got your uh, melted ball i'm gonna make that one a little bigger and the more you heat it yeah that's that'll be a little bit bigger and that keeps it from pulling down through if you happen to be pulling on it like that but what we do is bring this up now and you have a nice slip knot that goes up and down the string like this to put on your wrist and you see that gives you a different looking knot it's uh you're going to three overlaps it don't even look like a knot actually but it's a slip knot on there now let's uh Move the camera up there and uh, get a good look and we'll review and do the final comments. Well, I guess that about does it for the really simple, useful walking stick. And I showed you every step of the way how to do it, how to make this little design on the end of the stick here. We want to keep this one real simple. Turned out a real beautiful finish on this. And it has a lot of nice grain in there again. This is a hickory stick. And usually the grain comes out just lovely. And you see a lot of detail in that grain. And you see these little markings right there. Now you can sand that out. When you get on your 150 finish uh, orbital sander, you can take that all out of it if you want. But I like to sometimes leave that on there you can't you can't really feel it too much, but you can see it. And uh, I leave it on there as part of the design. It, it, it that comes all the way from way up in here. You can see 
all the way down to the to the tip. It's got some down here on the end. There's a really good view of it. But um, anyway, a nice wrist strap. Also, it will. Uh, you can get a hold of that and push it right on down. And you can tighten it up on your wrist like so. Anyway, right there is the useful end of your stick. You have another directometer, it is, right on the end of it. Now, if that's not useful, I don't know what is. And if this is not a simple one, I don't know what is. So now, you know how to make a simple, useful walking stick. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Only 20% of my viewers are subscribers. So why not hit that subscribe button? Subscribers will help this channel and it won't cost you a dime, but it will cause YouTube to show my video thumbnails to more people and give them the opportunity to watch how to make a simple walking stick. So why not subscribe now and become part of that 20%? Hey, I'd sure appreciate that. But now one more thing I have to say. I'll see you in the next video.